And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from MLS. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3 4 3 formation, but without wing backs. So, although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, as you can see, they're going to play with a front two. And if you do that, it's vital that they work as a pair. They need to play close to each other and combine as much as possible. Thank you for joining us. Now get ready for a great match. And the match is underway. A really effective shielding under pressure. But just like that, possession changes hands. Taxiachis Funtas. This looks promising. It's there for him. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, at the moment, he's playing with great confidence. Every time he gets to the ball, he looks like scoring. Three goals in the last three games, and I'm expecting a similar performance again today. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Can he put them in front? Chance to cross. Will he finish? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Goal 1-0, then. FC Cincinnati. Number 10, Luciano Acosta. Taxiachis Funtas. Benteke, Nahar, and a chance to level it, it's got to be, Benteke, cross blocked, the pressure was high and they could be in here, Vasquez and disappointing that it's gone out of play Not the best challenge, free kick. <laughs> ah, 
Larsson. Klich. And they have possession again. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And let's give credit to the defending. Turkin. Well, the hosts, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession that most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. That's right, and priority number one here is to win the ball back. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Chance here. Surely. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So, a level contest. 1-1. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. The first half here comes to an end. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yeah, I think he'd be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal and a good overall performance from him. But the next goal is going to be key, I think. to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment dangerous looking attack element of risk there but he's won the ball and Nahar Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Options in the centre. Can they forge ahead? And the snuffing out of the cross there. In search of space. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Easy. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Chris Durkin. Could be! And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then what a strike. 
That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. Paulson. Funtas. Well, they get the ball once more. Benteke. Will he finish? Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. And the press is on. Did well to win the ball back. Well, they're getting on top now, and these fans can sense the goal's coming. Must be! And hit with ferocity, it was close, but not quite good enough. Here it is now, the substitution. Oh, a lovely ball. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Teammates available. Can he put it away? Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Pedro Santos. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Yeah, it's been a performance of contrast, you have to say. Plenty to please going forward, but absolutely shambolic at the back at times. Still in it, though, and more than enough time for one last twist. An effective ball. It is a decent-looking attack here. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Five minutes to go. Klich. Now Christian Benteke. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Can they convert? Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Spot on with that tackle. Counter-attacking, very much an option. So two minutes of stoppage time here. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, Stewart on balance, I don't think anybody is going to be complaining about his performance. Well, he didn't show his best form today, did he? He just looked a little bit off the pace, but he certainly wasn't the only one.